Saluete Omnes. This is Review 8, Chapters 29 through 32, and this is Drill on Forms C. We are to synopsize the following verbs. So we are to give the forms of yakio in the first person singular for the six tenses, as well as the imperatives. To start, you first must know the principal parts. You must know yakio, yakare, yeki, yaktos, to throw. Now we want the first person singular for each one of these. Keep in mind that the present stem of this, it's a third IO conjugation, yakio, yakare. The present stem of a third IO conjugation is found by removing the, a, the O of the first principal part. So the present stem is yaki, yaki. You remove the O from the first principal part. For the perfect stem, you go to the third principal part and chop off the I, chop off the letter I. So for this verb, yakio, yakio, yakare, yeki, yaktus, yek is going to be the perfect stem. Third principal part, chop off the I. Then the supine stem, go the fourth principal part, yaktus, treat it like an adjective, yaktusaum, the stem will be yakt, and then there will be helping verbs. That is used in the perfect, pluperfect, and future perfect whereas the perfect stem is used in the perfect, pluperfect, and future perfect active only, and the present stem is used here in the present imperfect future active and passive. Now, if your verb is a first person singular like it is here, then the first principal part, yakio, there's your first answer. That is the first person singular present active indicative, yakio. Now to make the passive, just add the r, the r, Ar restor mor mini untor. And here we have r yakior. Yakior. So I throw. I am thrown. I am throwing. I am being thrown. So for the imperfect, we want the present stem, which we already said is yaki. Add an E before the ba, because it's a third I-O, so yakie ba, and then the m, the m, m-s-t, mustis unt, personal ending. So yakie bam, I was throwing, I used to throw. In the passive, exchange the m, first person singular, uh, pre uh, imperfect active ending with the r, with the r. A restor mor mini untor. So, yakie bar, I was being thrown. I used to be thrown. For the future, no bo bis bit or bor beris bitor. The endings are am es et, amus etis ent for the active, and the passive ar eris etor, amor emini entor. And those are added to the present stem, which is yaki. So, we want yakiam. I will throw, and yakiar, I will be thrown. The perfect, the pluperfect, and the future perfect uses the perfect stem, which is yake, yake, third principal part, chop off the I, yake, and then you add I, the letter I. It is the same as the third principal part, yake. The endings for the perfect tense are e isti it, imus istis erunt. The perfect stem yake is used also in the pluperfect active, yake plus the era and then the m personal ending. So yake eram, yake eram, I had thrown. The perfect is translated I threw or I have thrown. Two tenses combined into one. I threw, that's the ed form of the verb, or I have thrown thrown. Helping verb has have. Pluperfect uses the helping verb had. I had thrown. Then the future perfect uses the um, helping verbs will have. In Latin, it's the perfect stem, yek. And then we have the tense marker, er, and then o, ero, yek ero, yek ero. I will have thrown. 
Now we jump over here to the perfect, pluperfect, and future perfect passive. We're going to use the fourth principal part, yaktus. So make sure it's yaktus a um, which is an abbreviation for yaktus, yakta, yaktum, yaktus a um, because it could be any gender, first person singular. So we want the first person singular present of sum as the helping verb for the perfect passive. So yaktus a um sum, which is an abbreviation for yaktus sum, yakta sum, and yaktum sum. One for the masculine, one for the feminine, and one for the neuter. Pluperfect, same idea, yaktus a um, but exchange the helping verb from the present of sum to the imperfect of sum, so eram. The imperfect of sum is eram, eras, erat, eramus, eratus, erat. It is the ending, or is the helping verb for the pluperfect. It's the ending for the pluperfect active. In the passive, it's the helping verb. Yaktus a um, eram. And the future perfect uses the same supine, yakta sa um, fourth principal part. Just the helping verb is the future of sum. Ero, eris, erit, erimus, eritis, erunt, erunt. We want the first person singular, ero. Yaktus a um, ero. Now for the imperatives, the commands. The imperative singular of a third I-O conjugation is found by going to the second principal part and chopping off the R-E. So, yake. Yake means throw. You're ordering one person, throw. Now, in the plural, that E in yake becomes an I when you add the plural T-E. So, yakite. Yakite. Throw, ye. Come on, guys. Throw. The imperative. Singular, one person, yake, plural, yakite. Now, for the passive, the imperative singular passive is the same as the second principal part. So, yakare, be thrown, get thrown. Come on, dude, get thrown. And then the plural is the same as the second plural present passive indicative. So, it ends in mini. So, yakimini, yakimini. Present stem yaki plus mini, yakimini. Be thrown, ye. Get thrown, you guys. How will we tell the difference between the imperative and the indicative? Context. Optime. About the next one. Inwenio, inwenire, inweni. May run over the e. Inwentus. This is a fourth conjugation, and a fourth conjugation finds its present stem by chopping the o off of the first principal part. So you're going to write in weni, in weni, and in weni right here. Now the perfect, the pluperfect, and the future perfect active, that's the third principal part of the verb and chop off the i. So in wenio, in weniere, in weni, make on over the e. When you chop off the i, you get in when. So you're going to write in when, in when, in when. Now for the perfect, pluperfect, and future perfect passive, you're going to use the fourth principal part, inwentus, give it feminine and neuter endings, inwentus a um, and because it's singular, our person is singular, then we're going to keep inwentus a um. If it were plural, we'd make it inwenti i a, inwenti, inwenti, inwenta, but it's singular, so us a um, inwentus a um. All right, so in weni goes in these blanks, present stem. So in weni plus the T, third person singular T, O-S-T, mustisunt, in when it, in when it, he finds, he, she, it finds. Passive, exchange the active T personal ending for tur, ar res tur, mor meni untur, tur. So in Wenitor, he, she, it is found, is being found. Imperfect in Weni, add the E before the Ba, in Weni E Ba, and then the third person singular T ending. In Weni E Bat, he, she, it was finding. Passive, in Weni E Batur, he, she, it was being found. Don't use Bobus bit. Use am es et, 
because the third, third IO, and fourth conjugations use ames et amos et ascent. In when yet, in when yet, he, she, it will find. Passive, ar, er, es, etor, em, or em, any, entor. In when etor, he, she, it will be found. Perfect stem is in when, and then you add e is the it, e mus is this er, we want it, in when it, in when it. Notice that is different because of the macron over the e than in when it. In when it present, he, he she it finds, in when it. Notice that the accent shifts because that e is long, in when it. So he she it found, he she it has found. Pluperfect, in when erat. He, she, it had found, and the future perfect, in when at it, he, she, it will have found. For the perfect, pluperfect, and future perfect passive, we want in when to sa um, plus the appropriate helping verb. For the perfect passive, the present of sum, est, in when to sa um, est. Pluperfect, in when to sa um, erat, and future perfect, in when to sa um, erat. For the imperatives, because in when is a fourth conjugation, you have the second principal part and chop off the RE. It's the same as the present stem. In when that's going to be the imperative singular. In when find. Plural, just add T. In when te. Find ye. Come on, everyone, find it. For the imperative singular passive, it's the same as the second principal part. In when re. Get found. Be found. And then the plural, in when imini. Be found, ye. Get found, all y'all. Possum, posse, potui. It's one of your irregular friends. It's based off of sum, esse, fui, futurus. So if you know sum, you know possum. So possum, its trick is that in the present, imperfect, and future, it's just the form of sum plus P-O-T, the prefix pot, which means able, potential. If the form of sum starts with an S, the T will assimilate to an S and you will get a double S. That's how we have posum instead of pot sum. For the perfect, pluperfect, and future perfect, it's the third principal part, potui, chop off the I to get potu as the stem, and then you add normal endings. There is no passive for posum. There is no passive for posum. There are no imperatives for posum. So, only in this blank, only in this. We have posum in the third person plural. So, if the third person plural present of sum is sunt, we want pot sunt, and that changes to posunt. Posunt. Imperfect, the, the form of sum is errant add P-O-T, and we get poterant. For the future, it's errant, add P-O-T, to get poterant. Perfect, uses perfect stem, potu, and then add the third plural, errant ending, potu errant. Pluperfect, errant, on the perfect stem, potu errant. And future perfect, errant, on the perfect stem, potu, potu erent. And as said, there is no imperative and no passive. Now, absum, ab esse, a fui, a futurus, it's a ab plus sum, it's a compound of sum, it means to be away, to be absent, to be distant. So if you know sum in the first person plural, then you know the present and perfect and future of obsum. You just put knob in front of it. Perfect, pluperfect, and future perfect. Third principal part, chop off the I. So afui becomes afu, who is pitied. Now there is no passive of sum because it is the verb that we use to make other verbs passive. So obsum, first person plural. If the first person plural present of sum is sumus, then it's obsumus. We are away. If the imperfect of sum is eramus, then ab eramus. Ab eramus. We were away. Future, erimus, ab erimus. 
Afu is the stem. Afuimus. Blue perfect, afueramus. And the future perfect, afuermus. For the imperatives, the imperative singular of uh, sum is s, b, s. This one is ab s, b away. Uh, you, you stay over there, at a distance, far away, ab s. The plural is ab este. All right, get, get back, get away, ab este. And as said, there is no passive. Optime, very well done. That is drill on forms C. You are now ready for drill on forms D.